Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm very excited that you decided to join us today for a speed build here in The Sims 4. Just a little disclaimer, I am recording this quite far in advance. It's currently the 17th of July and by my planning, this build won't be going up until the 21st of August. This is happening because I'm trying to pre-record a bit as at the start of September, I'll be moving house and starting back at university. So I'm building up a bit of a buffer of videos to make that easier on me. So this build was constructed before Cottage Living came out unfortunately because some of those items would have been really cute but regardless I do hope you enjoy today's build. A lot of building this lot was messing around with terrain and landscaping and me yelling at my screen when it didn't quite do what I wanted it to. I think we've all been there. I ended up having to use a whole lot of tool well, to get the plants to stop floating in midair, which they do annoyingly whenever you do anything with the terrain. So I did cut a lot of that out because the camera was jumping all over the place and it was making me really motion sick. But you do get the general gist and it comes out looking decent in my opinion. We've got the basic shape of the build down now, it is very small. My idea was that the bottom is the original structure and that the top bit with the more modern looking wood was added on later just to give you a little bit extra space as well as a separated sleeping area which is what I put up there.
was particularly proud of this addition here. I basically took a fallen tree from the show elevated objects menu, like the, the granite fall, granite falls world object, and I used tools to tilt it so it looks like it had fallen onto the rocks and gotten stuck and narrowly missed the house in the process. And I think that really adds a little bit extra character to this build and makes it more unique than just a cabin. We're finally moving on to the interior of this build. As I said earlier, there was a whole lot of landscaping that went into this one. It was also definitely a challenge to furnish this build. It is very small and awkward, and I did cut out a lot of my lack of ability to make decisions because I just kept changing things and changing things and changing things. But I do think it comes out as a very cozy, but very bright and airy space, and that's definitely the look I was going for in the end.
Thank you so much for watching today's build. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and a comment always makes my day. If you would like to watch me build live, you can do so by following me on Twitch. The link is in the description below. I also have information about the build down there, including a gallery link, so you can download it directly into your game. If you like, you can also find the link to my Discord server where you can chat with like-minded individuals as well as my other socials for even more content. I'll see you next time. Bye!